CEI isn't like any other think tank. What makes it unique is that Fred's personality is all over it. It's a place unlike any other. Principled. Feisty. Forward-looking. Irreverent. Exuberant. Awesome. Fred is a genius, yes. I think the, the, a lot of the people here are, are very bright, so he, he's attracted uh, that sort of person to, to the organization. But what he gets is that you can't sustain a project like this on sort of efficiency, rugged individualism, or anything like that. It's sort of ultimately an act of friendship, and he gets that, and the rest of us are grateful. Well, I think Fred, uh, as everyone knows, is uh, a bubbly person. Talking with Fred is like having a conversation with a fire hydrant. Totally overwhelming and you're left drenched with ideas you've never heard before. Is very gregarious and very positive, very future oriented. You know, you fall into his orbit, it's very hard to fall out of it. Not everyone knows this, but Fred originally came to DC to work for the EPA. During that period became uh, disillusioned with central planning and technocratic approaches. And in 1984, he founded the Competitive Enterprise Institute. He had one employee who would, at 9 o'clock in the morning, knock on the door, and he and Fred uh, would uh, work from our dining room table. The outfit grew, and it grew on me, and uh, Fred grew with it. I wanted to be part of a feisty, edgy, free market think tank. And over the years, CI has gotten more feisty, more edgy, and even more free market. It is a place that people like to be. It is a place where people have fun. CI is well known for enjoying itself while we while we fight for liberty. You could so feel the the vibrancy and the the energy in the place, and that was all very rewarding. One of my earliest experiences with Fred, sitting in his office trying to go through some letters, he is talking to three other people, dials his phone on speaker. It's ringing. He's talking, holding three different conversations at the same time. The person at the other end of the phone answers, and Fred says, um, uh, who is this? Who did, who did I call? This is a pretty hilarious office sometimes. When I came to CEI for an interview in 2008, uh, and in the, the course of the conversation, I mentioned uh, market failure, and Fred immediately called me a statist. Uh, and I knew at that point that this is where I wanted to work. Fred is principled, honorable, and dedicated. I was in Fred's office when he got a call from the Secretary of Transportation. This is pretty impressive, I thought, but it was nothing compared to what happened several minutes later. First, Fred started arguing with the Secretary, then he got angry, then Fred slammed the phone down on the Secretary. This is really good, I thought, and actually it was a nice lesson for the future. When you're done speaking truth to power and you're not getting anywhere, put down the phone. We take very seriously our work on behalf of advancing capitalism, advancing free enterprise, but we do it in a way that's not only going to be fun, but it's going to make a difference. We have a unique approach that really can change the world. Fred's helped change the world. We will continue to change the world. That's what CEI is here for. And Fred is very excited to hand over the reins to Lawson. Even though he's not running the day-to-day -day operations, Fred is still here fighting the fight. Fred has been and remains a trailblazer in this movement. Thanks, Fred. Fred, thanks so much. Well, Fred, thank you for entrusting me with CEI. Fred, thanks for everything, and God bless.